that our coffee carrier bag is them. It's not. Hi and welcome to another video. So it's March, it's all change. It's not terrible weather anymore. And so we are cracking on with our first lot of field work for 2022. So we're gonna start the chain harrowing. Hopefully you'll enjoy seeing Dale Farm in some better weather and seeing how we crack on with the jobs. So it is the 8th of March today and feels weird saying it, March, yep. It's the 8th of March and as you can see, it is a still and clear and frosty morning and it's about 6.43 and I'm just starting feeding the ewes. This is my group of 40 that are having twins and it looks like there's going to be some ice on the trough so I'm just going to have a walk around and feed and break the ice and of course enjoy this beautiful sunrise. So as you've seen on previous videos we've had a lot of uh, very wild and wet weather so these calm days are very much appreciated and enjoyed and it does make it feel like a different experience being on on the farm and having these responsibilities is more of a joy that's for sure this is my uh feeding system for the mornings using the uh, original scales that my dad always used the dale farm uh heirloom and this is my my ewe feed it's a uh, an 18% one from Cars Billington. Uh, they're the ingredients. And this is to help with the um, milk production and keep the ewes in good condition and energy levels uh, ready for lambing. So this is my group which are having three lambs or were condition scored to be a bit low on weight um, and I'm quite pleased really with how they're looking on the whole uh, and so I'll get them fed as you can see they're patiently waiting that you there the red mark she's my leanest you brought her in and wormed her um, and she had 24 hours inside with also some selenium and she seems to be perky I do love the sound of them gobbling up their nuts. Look at that beautiful blue sky. And it's so nice. Things feel drier and you can just enjoy these mornings. Spiky, Jasmine, Juliet, and November are their names. It looks like November wants me to break the ice if she hasn't managed to do it already. Sometimes the cows can do it themselves. So I'll just have a look. They're not very calm these, so we're trying to get them to be a bit more calm. There we go, water broken. Enjoy it, girl. And this is the lane where we go up and down, and it'll be interesting to have another look at it in a month's time to see how it might have changed, how it might have greened up. Um, you think in a month it might have changed quite a lot. Um, at least the daffodils will be out. Uh, there they are, the lovely yellow daffodils. So 
Um, yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful lane. Very blessed to call this place home. So this field here is just a small field and there's been a lot of fallen wood from all the storms. So I'm just trying to collect it up, make it tidy, ready for the field work to start. We are trying out a new method for filling up the water on the moor. Um, Nick got a hose pipe connector so that he can just open the tap and let the hose fill up and that frees me up to then go and do another job. So I was picking up sticks and Nick was faffing with his new system. This field here looked much better after being chain harrowed. It uh, spreads out all the sheep muck, um, brings out any bits of moss and dead grass, flattens any roots and divots, and uh, really does make a nice job of smartening up the field and, and getting ready for the grass growing in the spring. We took it in turns to do a bit each, Nick and I. So here I go. Um, and I think overall we were quite happy and satisfied with the, how it all worked. We found that the harrows sometimes dug in a little bit um, and then you just had to sort of reset them and adjust them and they did a good job. The ground has just dried up enough to make a start on this job and we are mindful of the amount we have to do on the farm in the run up to lambing and the campsite season really will be kicking off in April so as soon as the condition seems to be dry enough we thought we were going to give it a go. As you can see, things have dried up a lot around the feeder and we're just dropping a bale in before moving on to chain harrow in another field. So Nick and I have shared the chain harrowing and um, we did half of the, we call it the lees field each. Um, now I've just come back down to the farm, made us a flask of coffee and come back up with the uh, Kubota and trailer, has got some hay to drop off for the ewes up here. Just got a small group of 14, so they're having a, a trailer load of hay. Um, and then we're gonna go and have our coffee somewhere up the fields and uh, just keep making the most of this nice dry weather. It's about the fifth day we've had where it hasn't been uh, raining, so uh, we are making the most of it.
they think that our coffee carrier bag is for them. It's not. Coffee. <laughs> coffee delivery. Thank you. Enjoying that. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying that Bambi up my bum. <laughs> Ringing roses around the tractor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was the last field that we did that day. We did three fields, so we shared one, Nick did one, and then I did this one. And what a view! So that is another field complete. Um, so I've done two today, so we're getting it done, and I'm enjoying it, which is important. So that's it, going back down to the farm. Another busy day under our belts. So the days are getting longer and our workload is increasing. Um, so just an 11 hour day today and I'm gonna call it a day uh, as uh, we are gearing up for our busiest time of year. There's a lot to do. Um, especially with the campsite as well. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna manage um, to do everything uh, without my dad, to be honest. Um, but I'm trying to do the farm work um, as he would have wanted it to be done to the best of my ability with love for the land and the job and um, somehow we'll figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for watching, bye.